I'm back again today and I have another message. Um, uh, today I'm going to talk about solitude and practice. So let's begin first with solitude. Solitude is so beautiful. Solitude is one of the best things created. And I say that humbly and I say that with great practice and great passion. I have learned more about myself being alone than I ever have been with anybody else, being a part of anything else. And I don't say this as far as relationships. I say this as far as just getting by myself, just being by yourself in a room by yourself, being away, taking a walk, um, no music, no nothing. It is the best thing for you. And I say that humbly and I say that with passion because if you have not been by yourself, if you have never known how it feels to just go into a room or go somewhere that's quiet and actually be by yourself, then you won't understand what I'm talking about. But when you ever get the chance to do that, that is when the magic happens. See, when you get by yourself, that is when you're able to hear your own thoughts. You're able to really feel what you are going through. Then you're able to talk to yourself. You're able to hear what's on your own mind and not what's on other people's minds. Then you're able to reset and you're able to say, okay, where do I go from here? I just heard this message today that said that you won't ever find the light unless you go into the dark. And it's true. When you're alone, when you're by yourself, that is when you're able to figure out who you truly are. You're able to face who you truly are. See, there's a lot of people that don't like being by themselves. And then when they're finally by themselves, they feel empty. But they only feel empty because they're so used to being with other people. But when you get to know yourself by being by yourself, you will recognize that you and you alone, you are your own best friend. Do you understand that when you start to really love being by yourself, you're able to give more to other people. You're able to smile more. You're able to laugh more. You're able to really do everything that you want to do. Just by starting with yourself, being by yourself. Try it. Wake up 30 minutes earlier. You know, everybody has families. I have a son, you know, but I always wake up an hour early before I have to get him ready for school. And I get by myself and my own thoughts. And that's how I start my day. So... Get by yourself. Solitude is beautiful. Solitude is where the magic happens. Solitude is where you find out who you really are and you're able to do your best thinking. Oh, your best ideas come from when you are by yourself. It is such a beautiful thing. It's like, it's a natural high and you're able to really rev in it. When you start, Getting alone by yourself, start with 30 minutes. 30 minutes by yourself. If you can't start with 30, start with 15. If you can't start with 15, start with five. But start because them five minutes are going to turn into 15 minutes. 15 minutes are going to start turning into 30 minutes. 30 minutes going to start turning into an hour. Next thing you know, you got a whole day that you done spent with yourself and you've accomplished so much. Because you were able to hear your own thoughts and really do what you really wanted to do. It breaks you down. You get to see the rawness. You can't hide from yourself. And that is what you want. Because when you start enjoying being by yourself, 
that's when you can really enjoy being with other people. My next thought is practice. Oh, practice is the best thing. Practice is success. See, when I talk about how a lot of people see the overnight successors, how they don't see the practice that they put in. See, you got to, in practice, you got to see yourself already at the game. You already got to see yourself at the show. So practice is technically you performing in that show every day. That's why when they say when you're in practice, you give 120%. And I'm not just talking about practice in sports. I'm talking about practice in life. In everything that you do, that's why every day is a gift. Because you're able to improve consistently every single day. So when you practice, you practice like you perform. That way when that performance happens, it's not this big scary thing. Why? Because you've dominated it every single day day prior to it that's why when you see people perform or when you see people go on stage or when you see people in sports and they have that look in their eyes and they're calm and they're relaxed yeah there might be some butterflies there because this is what they've been working hard to but they are confident in what they're doing it's because they've given 120 percent Every single day before then. That way, this day is not like any other day that they haven't practiced to give. So when you practice, you're practicing for that performance. So you're performing every single day. Never, ever half step in life. Because practice is where success is. And if you half step in your practice, you're going to half step in life and you're going to half step in performance and you're going to half step in everything else that you do. So when you're given a chance to practice, you perform like it's your last. Because when that day comes, then not only will you succeed, but you will exceed all expectations. So those were my messages for today. You all stay blessed and you have a fabulous day.